What's happening people? Unfortunately, this is not a positive video. Normally, on my trips, I start my vlogs with a full English breakfast and I love it and it gets the comments going. But today is my first full day here. I arrived yesterday, as you can probably tell. I've had a few beers last night and I had my phone stolen. I was mugged on my first night. Young lad walking up beside me, just like, hello, where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old. Thinking, oh, he's probably trying to sell me Charlie or something like that. Um, because I've had a few of that. And then there were a car waiting, maybe 50 yards, 20 yards in front of me. And he swiped my phone out of my pocket and legged it, jumped in a car and off he went. And uh, I just so happened that there were a police car just around the corner as it happened. So I basically went to the police car, obviously, I'm a big lad. I'm not chasing after a young lad. Um, I just thought I'd lost my phone. Um, it's insured. <laughs> Wouldn't have been the end of the world, but, you know, it would have been a bit of a nightmare on this trip to have no phone, contacting the girls and things. But the police car said, oh, come with us. We've just stopped someone for no insurance. And it might be the, the gang. So I go up to this crime scene and there's uh, the, the, the boy, the lad there. Uh, so I pick, pick, pick him out there. I'm, I'm intoxicated at this point, I'll be honest. I've, uh, I've had a few beers. I've, uh, I've just, like I say, I've just arrived in Benidorm last night. And, uh, and yeah, there he is. And they said, oh, what, what, what kind of phone is it? And I said, oh, it's an S22. It's not, it's not nothing special. And they pulled it out and the picture of me and Katie's on front and I fingerprinted it and opened it. And there it was. Back. I got it. But... The police had to keep it, and I've got to go to the police station today, this morning. They kept it for evidence or whatever, or I have to make, I have to make a statement, and I have to come back in the morning. So that's what I'm doing now. So there will be some food in this video. Let's see what kind of day it is. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit grey. I'll be honest. Today is going to be the worst day. Apparently, it's about 18 degrees. It's not raining or anything, but it's a bit grey. So before I get into any food, I am going to go for some food in this video, don't worry. I'm not, not sure what yet, it could probably be a full English, but I've got to go to the police station and make a statement, and I, I believe it's about half an hour walk from here, they give me a lift at home. What a start to the video, what a start to the holiday. Right, I'm probably going to go ask the reception guy to bring me a taxi to the police station because yeah, they, they told me to get a taxi because it's a quite a walk. Quite a walk. Can't even speak. Right, so got to make the police station. Okay, so of course I'm not going to be able to uh, film inside a police station. Um, I've got to figure out how to get in. It just looks like a normal building actually. Um, but I'm going to try and record the audio on my uh, GoPro. I'm going to take the GoPro in. And I'm going to just leave it in the bag. Um, so if this next bit's a little bit muffled, um, I apologise, but I'm going to try and get you as much footage as I, as I possibly can. So we'll get in there. I've got to give a statement. And hopefully I get my phone back. I think they probably didn't give me back last night because um, they didn't think I would come back today, which I probably wouldn't have, if I'm honest. If I had, if I had my phone, I probably wouldn't have. But if this puts someone in prison or... Make them think twice at least, then uh, obviously I, I should do it. And it's starting to blooming rain. What a first full day in Benidorm, eh? Police station, 11 o'clock in the morning. Nightmare. Right, let me get in, sort this out and hopefully get my phone back. Don't really vlog on the GoPro. <laughs> right, let's get it in my bag and leave it recording. Hello. Could you please write down your home address, email address, telephone number, and for identification purposes, your father, father's first name and mother's first name. Okay, Dean. What happened last night? This morning, early hours this morning. What happened? So I was walking back to my hotel after a few beers and I was picked back here and around. But did you see the person who took the car? Yeah. You got arrested? I'm 
Okay, so the GoPro turned itself off because it was too hot in the bag apparently, so I'm not sure what I've caught there, but I have come out now. I'm filming on the GoPro, I don't know if you can tell the difference. And I've got my phone back. So, what a nightmare that was. What an absolute nightmare. It took me probably 45 minutes in there, signing all sorts of things. They tell them all sorts of things, like my mother, mum and dad's name and all sorts. <coughs> Oh, let me calm down a bit and uh, we'll reconvene. Okay, change of plan. I'm not going to be uh, filming any food in this video. I'm just going to go to McDonald's, <laughs> get myself a milkshake. I feel a bit sick if I'm honest. Um, I'm going to have to go through all my passwords on my phone and uh, change everything. I'm, I'm about 30 minutes from my hotel as well. And the, Obviously not thinking about vlogging today, but the uh, the camera's nearly dead on battery as well, so... Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm so lucky, though I do, I do know that to have my phone back, because... There was a box full of phones there, they must have, must have picked up the... Uh, picked up the whole, all the evidence, and they must have been at it all night, or all week, or whatever, but... There must have been 30, 40 phones in the box. Thankfully, I've got mine, and obviously, I needed to unlock it, and uh, I've got a statement and everything. Um, I'll put a little clip of the statement. It's probably going to be in Spanish here now. But yeah, like I said, I am so so lucky to have got it back. Looks like we're coming down to the marina now. This is a uh, this is where all the birds are, I believe. There is actually a nice Irish bar from, from I remember when I came with the uh, with the girls. And I got a, 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 like a food challenge, this was before I were doing food videos, it was like a food challenge. Um, I'll see if I can find the picture of me uh, failing it. But yeah, my head's not in the game, so we'll just, uh, I'm going to go back to the room and uh, I'm going to go to Mackey's, get myself the yeah, dollar bird. Yeah, look. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go back to the room, change all my passwords, sort all my security out on my phone and things. doesn't look like they've got into it, but, you know, everything is on my phone. I didn't even think about it last night, really. Obviously, I had one too many beers, but my bank, I, I bank with Revolut. So that's like just an app. It's not, it's just, that's just an app on my phone. So all my money is in there. I don't even, I wouldn't even be able, able to transfer it to my regular bank. Um, my boarding pass to get home everything my youtube studio so to talk to you guys everything is on that phone i am so so lucky um and it is just a phone at the end of the day and i would have been able to sort it out i understand that because what really hits home is on the desk obviously i was like with the english speaking person on the desk in the um in the room in the in interrogation room investigation room whatever you want to call it there was a, a file and obviously i can't speak spanish but it said touristas sexual assault and I'm not kidding it was that thick it was that thick absolute I don't know why people do stuff like why nick someone's phone I've got an S22 it's not even a new phone it's not worth anything probably second hand you're probably getting about 40 quid what the amount of time and things and that amount of hassle it caused me for them to get about 40 quid I hate it I really do I don't like swearing, but I hate it. And it's raining here now in Benidorm. <laughs> so this is the, this is my day where I was planning to just edit um, the travel vlog, which obviously you you guys might you'll have well, seen it on last video, but I can't believe my first video in Benidorm is not a full English breakfast. I can't believe it is I was mugged in Benidorm. That is absolutely shocking. Thank, thankfully, it wasn't like a violent assault. Thankfully for them. Um, but yeah, it's put a bit of a downer on it like I'm actually I'm so upset with myself as well I'm um, I could bloody cry honestly like I'm so lucky to have it back I really I really am but and like nothing nothing bad has happened which is lucky man I just always think when stuff like this happens I always think my god if this were Naomi if this were Katie 18 coming abroad with her mates or something. Naomi's literally coming to Benidorm in next year with, with the girls and God, you've just got to be so careful. So, so careful. I'm going to leave it there because I'm, 
I'm getting a bit upset if I'm honest. And um, yeah. I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully it'll be a bit more of a, a positive, upbeat, Benny Dome vlog. I can't believe it, honestly. Thank you everybody for watching this. And uh, if you are in, in Benny Dome or anywhere, like even in London, you see them on these scooters now, don't you? Snatching phones. The whole world's in our phone. What kind of world do we live in, eh? I'm getting upset, so I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to ring Naomi because obviously she's a bit worried. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.